Okay, inside this kit, I have the instructions, uh, the headlight, Let's look at the headlight, there's an H4 connector with two wires coming off it, this one uh, is, for the, is for the left turn signal, the daylight run lights, we have two of these anti-flicker devices, we have then we have the H4 female to H13 uh, male, which will go in line with mine if you don't need it. We have the fog lights, which has just one extra wire. It does not blink when you take a left-hand turn, but daylight run lights, uh, daytime run lights will work with an adapter if necessary. Um, these are the ones that really need the anti-flicker, so just make sure you're putting it on there always. Um, I will assemble it together and then show you what it looks like. I need to remove the six screws here, 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 here and here. Possibly you might have push pin uh, pop rivets. And once you remove all of these, the hood will, I mean the grill will actually come off. I've already removed them all and I'm ready to start taking out the grill. If you look in here, there are little tabs kind of at the bottom, so you want to start working from one way to the other. Mine just popped right out. Then you're going to want to disconnect your uh, turn signals. That way you can just remove the grill completely. Now I can start removing the headlight. There are four screws. They are Torque Bits T15s here and here. So now I'm ready to remove it, taking the bracket off. Put the bracket aside. In here you have the H13 connector with the line. If you have an H4, it'll look a little bit different. So we'll need to pop this up. Do you have it popped up? If you pop this up and push this down, it'll then release pretty easily. Um, if this is stuck, you might need to put a flathead in there to force it up. So now I have this set up, and I have it running to the anti-flicker. Um, pro tip is to add electrical tape to hold things together and also um, to waterproof a bit. Here's the anti-flicker. Here is the uh, connector to the crossover from the H4 to the H13. Um, in the manual it says possibly sand this down a little bit in case it doesn't work. In mine it's been working just fine. Also right here, I waterproof these as well, but I have a one white and one yellow wire coming off this for the daylight run lights and for the blinker. That'll come in a little combination like this. Um, for this one, this is for the daylight run lights going to the um, fog lights. Putting all of these connectors in here, there's more than enough room to fit all that in there. And I'm gonna be hanging these two wires down here to uh, this set up here, and I'll show you how to wire it in here this to expose the wire. Um, I'm going to be splicing uh, into this. So this one is the ground and then we have the middle one which is the uh, parking lights which when you turn your parking lights on your uh, day daytime run lights will run and this one is turn signal so we're going to be uh, splicing these in. I have one white and one yellow. Just like the other ones you just put your fill up in, pull out slowly and it will come out, you push down, they will just literally return back in. Okay. Lift up when you go. Okay, so I removed the screws already, but there are screws here. Here, I'm sorry, it's such a weird angle to get. Here, there's four screws. So you can see on the back of this where they're at. Um, but pretty much I have to feel for them with the drill. And then with this, you just you lift this up and it'll disconnect. Okay, and now I have it disconnected from there and I'm gonna get the new one and reattach it and then screw it into those holes. Now if you see the way that this thing is designed, it will only go one way, so uh, when you put the new one in, it will be pretty self-apparent. So here's the new one and I put this on here. So I'm going to try to run that up to here Okay, so these are the daytime run lights uh, running. Uh, what I found is that you need to take the yellow wire 
from the uh, fog light and put it into the middle, along with the white wire from the headlights into the middle, and then it will uh, work for daylight run light. And this other yellow, uh, yellow one from the headlight is the blinker. And so we can test the blinker real quick. When I turn on the um, emergency signals, it will force them on. And here we go. We are getting the amber showing through. So that is what that looks like. Everything is reassembled now and we're good to go.